Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. We are continuing just where we left off and I just moved a couple of troops uh, to Bursicle and we're now besieging it and they don't really have a large resistance here so we're just going to bring them down in the next turn uh, and I just moved the Dane over here just to get some um, towers built but I'm going to move him right back to Mount Gundabad and nothing happened, nothing happened since last time, so let's just end the turn and see what will happen. Now, I'm very grateful for all the response we got on the first episode. We have never seen such massive response on our campaigns before. And the first episode really popped off. And I got like 16 subscribers uh, the first 20 hours, which is very, very nice for me like I haven't been able to gain so many subscribers before so thank you guys so much I, I will certainly not disappoint you all right so we're going to take down burst call this turn now these guys let's just check how many they are actually yeah it's just trash let's just get those so that they don't cause any corruption in our lands and we can't move into Mount Gundabad this turn, so let's just let him stay in this fort for the meantime. I think we can recruit some units here now. Yeah, let's let's just do it. Let's check if we can yeah, we can recruit here as well. And if you remember from last episode, our focus is now to get a lot of troops. The mining network we don't really need. We're still making seven thousand a turn and we don't really have much to spend it on. So we're going to go for the practice ranger just to get some axe throwers. And it's still two more turns until we get the Orokani clan hall over here. In Kirikathal, one more turn until we get the mining network. But I do want to start expanding in the east today. So we do want to recruit units here, but it's just such a slow ride. So I'm going to build the ironmongers right after this one to get more units out of this place. Or pro probably the Orokani clan hall is probably a little bit better. And then I think I it's just to attack Bursicle. We can actually even get the Ironmongers here, which is nice. We can recruit units out of here. Didn't really expect that to happen. But that's wonderful. Alright, so Bursicle, we have already seen this battle in the Angmar. But alright, let's just go at it, shall we? I'll see you on the battlefield. We are indeed here and it looks like they are actually going to use the walls which is very nice because they're going to get a lot of hits on us or it's nice for them but that's rather unfortunate because these towers have been buffed severely in this patch and they can make some real damage but it actually looks like they are probably yeah they might actually be leaving the walls which is nice they're probably going for the town center but they're still having some javelins up here However, we do have some cav that I hope to just send in. I don't want to send these guys too close just yet. Because they're probably going to get targeted by those towers. But we can bring them a little bit closer, I think. And in the meantime, let's just speed up. Now we have some new units here. First of all, we have Gimli. Like his unit we saw last episode. They were <laughs> some real killers. They did very much work for us. Now the real new units here is the Stiff Beat Arches. And the Erebor Axe Flowers. So let's start taking a look at the Sif Breed Arches. 4 melee attack, 3 missed attack, 3 charge bonus. Not really that good. But they have 11 total defense. So they're quite heavily armored. And they will do some damage in the long run. But they don't really have a lot of missed attack. But I think they, they can be used in melee to be cannon fodder to some sort. But of course they have a lot of defense, so that, that helps them out. And now we have the Erebor Axe Throwers. They actually have 10 missile attack. That even surprised me. That's very, very strong. Uh, considering they are just like the, the trash tier for the dwarves. But of course the trash tier for the dwarves is just very powerful. They are also effective against armor. 11 total defense, 4 charge bonus and 5 melee attack. Definitely uh, it looks like to be a very strong unit. Now these orc fighters, they can be recruited by rebel, like, they became rebel, but usually orc factions can recruit them. 
they have six miss attack, which is their only strength to be honest. But they will they will tear apart our dwarves because they have Javis. And Javis is what our dwarves will definitely suffer from. You can see they're just destroying this unit entirely. Yeah, we're going to use our cav cavalry here quite efficiently. I think they are out of ammo at this point. Or maybe they don't have the angle. That might also be the case. Just going to watch out for these guys. At the moment, I'm just going to send in one unit. I don't want uh, the Blitz Towers to do too much damage to us. So let's just run these guys through. And we're going to send these guys as well. We'll see what these Javas do, if they do retreat or not. They might actually just be stuck here. Yeah, that looks to be the case. In that case, we definitely just want to... We don't need to run these guys anymore. I think we can send our other units as well. Let's send Gimli first. And we should send this guy as well. The archers won't be very valuable in this battle, but we'll still have to use them. Alright, let's just bring them all over here. And I'm just going to skip until we are at the town center so you don't have to watch this. These guys have fooled us, and they actually still have javelins. And they were able to just rain hell upon our troops. We just lost like five of Gimli's men due to the javis. And they are definitely very powerful against the dwarves. You see how we're going to suffer from it. But there's no way around it. Like these guys lost so many dwarves. Probably more than we're going to lose in the whole battle. These guys definitely need to run. Let's just get them over here. Alright, we are here now. We took out the general. Which when orc fighter just left alone outside the city. And now we're going to see the axes of Gimli in action. As well as the Erebor axe throwers. We're going to see axes from both sides right here. Ah, uh, there we go. This is going to slaughter them. And we do have the Iron Hill Smatox to just fight them off. And in the meantime, these guys are going to fight on this side. And we'll just use our cavalry to just flank around these units. Actually hit that unit. It's much better position and we do not risk as we much friendly like fire. We will smash the enemy. These guys will just get slaughtered by every javelin that we hit with. Now let's try to route these guys since the general is down. I didn't even care to bring the archers in just because those javelins were at the gate. Alright, let's just bring them down at this point. We'll get some free experience. Fighting to the death basically means that you'll, you'll not lose a lot of men when you kill them. It's just like free kills, which is very fortunate. Now let's try to just route these guys and do the same. There we go. And the same happened to those. And let's do the same to these guys as well. And that will be some, yeah, that's some nice experience for us. Now I'm definitely looking forward to using Gimli a lot more. His bodyguard is definitely very powerful. So we, we lost a couple of dwarves in the early game because of those javelins. Oh wow. Yeah, here they come. Let's give them hell, boys. I thought that was it. Alright, let's flank around. And if we just br bring them down from all sides, we're going to be fine. You can charge in in the back. But they will not route because they are, of course, in the town center. But will not take many casualties, I think. I love that Dwarven voice. It's so fun. It's so funny. There we go. Alright. 1 in 42 lost. Who got the most kills? Stonefoot Spearmen. No, Dwarven Labors. Well done, boys. Cool depiction of Thorin's company in trouble, I really think. This is really showing the cruelty of the wargs and how terrifying they are. However, this might actually not... I, I don't remember if it was, was wargs or just wolves. I think it was wargs. 
Now I started reading the Silmarillion again. It's a long time since I read it and I only read it once and I don't really remember much of it. And I want to expand my lore a little bit. And there we go, <laughs> beautiful. Burst close hours. Now let's just get the brewery up. We still have some uh, culture here. We should probably go for the minus or oh yeah, the garrison quarters are already here. That's that's wonderful. We're actually going to be able to get a lot of sons of the fall in not too long, which is really cool. Or right, it's still a while, but of course it's on the way. Now Gimli with the most expensive. Let's just bring the most healthy troops out. And I suppose these guys could just head off to. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's fine. We're going to head these guys down here. And Dane will go to Mount Gundabad in next turn. Now our next target will be Withyward. We definitely need to get our settlements bordering each other. Because that might give us a lot more income. We could definitely go for Angmar. But we don't have a lot of recruitment going on at the moment. I definitely want to set up Mount Gundabad before we start hitting on them. Like, we, we could definitely... Pull it off, but let's just give us give ourselves a breather, and perhaps just go for with the board today. I'll have to think about it though. I haven't decided just yet. These guys can probably move out now. Yeah, let's just send them to the front line. Or can we send these guys? Yeah, we can. Let's get them here. And end the turn. Now, the economy is our least problem now. The troops is our real problem. We don't have enough troops going on. But we'll get the Urkani Hall in Edebon now. So that will definitely help us out. Remnants of Angmar. Let's see what they want. Trade rights. We're going to decline that. They are the enemies of our brethren. The dwarves of Ereluin. We cannot accept such actions. Alright. Another guild build. Mining network in Kerekathon. Nice. We have like four. We're the most advanced faction already. Not a huge surprise to be honest. Alright, now we can build some. Yeah, just auto build that. A clan hall. Onasanar got some more troops. Let's just bring them to the front. And in Dale's Halls, we also got more troops. Now we probably do have the forces to take on with the board. I'm, I'm very tempted to go just straight for Angmar at this point. Even though I just said the opposite. But I'm really eager. We'll see. Oh, we can actually recruit some Dwarven Travelers. That would be useful. Now, are we at war with the Orcs of the Misty Mountains? No, we're not. Now, reclaiming... Western Moria would be very important for us. And we actually got the Diplomat over here. Right, let's send them to the Dwarves of Casa Doom. And let's see how they are holding out. Now, Dane is going back to Mount Gundabad. These guys will go to the fort. And actually, I think Gimli can build a couple of towers. Let's build some towers down here as well. We're going to build the Durin's Forge Hall. Hall no, Hall of Durin, I mean. This is... Yeah, Hall of Durin. It is a... Uh, we're going to build that right after the... The pub. So we can get the Hammers of Gundabad. One of the best units for the Dwarves, definitely. I think they got the best stats. These guys actually get free upkeep, which is very useful. Now can we move out these guys? No. We'll have to stay, but we'll get free upkeep on them in a while when we have a little bit more culture. So, oh yeah, we definitely need a brewery. We can't actually recruit these guys anyways. But yeah, what do we do now? If we leave too many forces and go for with the board, we might be very vulnerable to Angmar. Now I'm going to send in a spy here and check how they're holding up. Yeah, these guys look very weak to be honest. I think it's just time to push straight on to be honest. 
We can build up more troops here and send them to with the board eventually. Yeah, it will probably take some time though. And in Thorns, in Kirithgathal, can't we build anything new? Yeah. Alright. So the plan. We're going to go for Angmar. I have decided. So let's just send... Let's send all our troops to the front line. And can all of these guys leave? Yeah. These guys are a little bit depleted, but we can probably... Swap them for some units. Now probably Gimli is going to head out. We're going to leave behind Dane here. And he will hold Gundabad. I think we can just very fast rush Angmar. If we just take Litash, Shadun and then Khandrum. I don't think they have much they can do. But what I what we really could do is actually just send our units all around in this wasteland. And just then just hit Khandrum immediately. That would actually be a very nice surprise attack, going north of the mountains. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's uh, let's send these guys a little bit further. We've marched our limit. I will have to wait a turn, so let's end the turn. But that's going to be exciting. And the regions of uh, the remnants of Angmar is also very wealthy. So that's further going to give us a boost. It would be nice to adopt a general, but I want to do that through the battlefield. Alright, a lot uh, built here now. Let's get this one. We have already built... Alright, I want to start getting some ballistas here. We do have enough culture here. And we'll get the Sons of the Fall. And the dra Dragon Slayers of Eren Mithrin. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely worth going for this brewery. Just to further increase our culture for that reason. Wow. Dwarves of Eren Mithrin is probably my favorite unit from the Dwarves. They're very powerful. Uh, we can recruit more units here. And let's start getting some armor on these troops. The mining complex is the building that is just out of this world. It gives so much money. Uh, but we do have the money we need now. So I'm rather going to go for troops and... Yeah. So let's do that. Okay, let's send these guys all the way up here. Marching now. Aye, noble sire. Setting a vigilant watch here. I These guys are on their way. We march no far. Aye, lord. Nay, sire. We cannot go there. Onward. Let's just check if we can recruit anything else. I don't know why I'm checking these places. I just have the habit of doing so after this long airborne campaign. I mean, Isengard campaign. But will we have enough units? That's a question. We have like one, four, seven, ten, eleven. Eleven units. And we don't really have a garrison here either. We'll have to let more of these troops arrive, I think. And in not too long, we are going to be able to recruit more, probably, somewhere. Not really. Dwarven laborers, at least. But our recruitment is just very slow. But this is, of course, because we have expanded so far, so quickly. And then it's, like, no surprise that we can't really feel a lot of units, because we still only hold, like two regions or three regions where we can recruit properly and we're very stretched out as well making it a lit little bit more complicated I'm just going to do and check if it's actually possible to walk around the mountains I haven't done that before but I think it should be possible yes my king moving quietly 
Yeah, here is it. Wait, let's check the border over here. Yeah, they hold this region. Mono Realm. Rise of Can. Right. Bersico is having some bad reputation here. Let's uh, send another unit. Aye, Lord. Aye. There we go. Forward. Aye, sire. Aye, Lord. I think we need to hold Aye, on a little bit longer. I have. Even though I sent Aye, these troops Aye, to start Aye, going over here, I think we need to wait a little Aye, bit longer. We march to glory. And I'm going to build a watchtower over there. Aye, because we simply don't have this force, and if they decide to attack Mount Gundabad, we definitely don't have the troops to be able to defend. Now these six can just be merged, to be honest. And these guys can be sent to Barsakal to merge over there. And in Onasanar, let's build... Yeah, we have already built what we can, to be honest. It's just still a while until this uh, place can upgrade as well. Let's just get some more free upkeep here, I suppose. Or no, let's go straight for the mining network. We do have the money. Let's get a dealing cow here. My and king. let's send these guys to the front. We With the body, it's probably a nice settlement. It's only a town, so... I don't think it's a very good recruitment center, anyways. We don't... I don't know if these guys is culture required. But I think we'll go for this one first, and then we'll go for the Hall of Durin. Just to be able to pull those Dwarven laborers out at a rapid rate is going to massively help us. Probably go for our Kani clan hall instead. My king. I, sire. My king. I have to start filling up I this lord. fort as well. I, sire. I, I, lord. We can recruit here as well. And we're already recruiting one here and set a couple here. Alright, let's end the turn again. It's going to be a little bit slow episode today, but I guess after the first episode that should be allowed, because what happened there was amazing. At least the dwarves doesn't have that strict re culture requirements on most of their troops, except for their real elites, which is quite understandable. But getting those dragon slayers and sons of the fallen is definitely going to be a nice, nice one. All right, let's uh, it's good to see you. go for map info. We're already allied and we do have trade rights. Let's uh, establish some nice reputation with Lorden as well. All right, let's just send them on their way. We got the Ironmongers now, so we'll be able to pull out a more unit. Let's go for them. And we'll actually be able to get one more and we'll get the armor. So we're going to go for this building. You can just actually just queue up these buildings. And the next turn we are going to build this. It will give us another of those dwarf labors. My king. I. I. I lord. Honor, my lord. Marching now. We march to glory. Can't really build a watchtower over here, it looks like. We march to glory. There we go. I noble sire. Setting up I. I sire. I. I lord. If we put one unit there and just send the other one over here. It's going to be alright. And you will go up here. We're making like 10,000 a turn. These guys actually have free upkeep now. And it's only... Yeah, it's still a while, but we can soon recruit units here. And when we get, get this up... Yeah, we'll start recruiting them. I think when this building finishes, we're going to start hitting them. March. 
These guys can just be I sent die. back for retraining. I king. I lord. Just making sure we haven't missed anything. Alright. You kind of forget what turn you are at and what buildings you have checked at this point. But yeah, you see there? That's the wastelands. We're going to walk in the wastelands because then Angmar won't see us coming. And then we're just going to hit Khandum and Gimli. The Great is going to set up and win it over and defend it properly. And on the other hand, we're going to hit Litash with King Dane. And that's going to be a very nice, nice situation for us. New mission, yeah. Oh, we'll be rewarded with some military units. That's just what we wanted. And they accept it. Wonderful. Thangon reached. Ah, two... Dalesman, that's just so trashy. Alright, but we at least we are filling up some more units, which we desperately need. Lothlorien reach, and one of you guys should probably head to Mount Gindaban. Goblins of Moria is now at war with the Whale of Anduin. And in Kirikathol, we got the Clan Hall now. We can recruit a lot of units here. I think we want to go for this building, get some more free upkeep here. And I'm actually just going to start recruiting lots of units here. And we're going to head out and see if we can get some action down in the east here. And we should actually get another... How long is it until 10 turns? Yeah, we definitely do want to send Thorin over to the eastern part. Aye. Aye, Lord. He can't rec retrain at the moment. Alright, let's uh, let's yeah, these guys are heading on their way. These guys are fine. And another turn then. I hope to see the Siege of Khandum this episode, so don't get worried if not a lot of stuff is happening. I, I know a lot of you guys just enjoy seeing the campaign map as well. Like, it, it's very different. Some people prefer the battle map and so and some prefer My king. this part of the map. I I let's send these I guys sire. here and get free not upkeep on them. Sire. Wonderful. Kirikathor. We're still making so much money. We could probably even buy settlements at this point. My king. To be completely Come honest. I, Lord. Onward, my king. Like today, buying Framsburg. That would get us a little bit closer to the goblins as well. With our diplomat. Let's uh, ask the... Course, the yes, Walesman. I know some of you suggested that in the comments. You wanted to see me buy Framsburg. So I'll do it for you. I'm going to try to buy it. Alright, let's see if we can recruit anything. Nope. Let's do another turn. And I think I am actually going to skip. I'm going to buy Framsburg and then I'm going to skip until we start sieging out Khandum. Just to give you guys some action. And that's a very nice battle map that Khandum has gotten. It's, it's really nice. Let's hope they don't have a very large garrison when we attack. Oh, the, the ring. In Goblin Town, wow. We could actually have gotten the ring. But I don't really have the intention to do so, because it won't really give us any benefits. But Goblin Town, definitely a nice target anyways. It will help out Walesman and relieve 
relieve in ladders of some spam. But it, it, it doesn't really fit with our border. Alright, let's see if we can, can find some whalesmen over here. Of course, sir. That's not possible, sir. Let's just head up Good over there. Now the culture is fine here. So let's get the... Let's get the practice range. We'll be able to recruit some dwarven laborers in a couple of turns. Hi, sire. Move out. Captain Snotty. My king. Hi. Hi. Forward. That'll do him today, sir. All right. A lot of more troops here now. Great. What we can do, of course, is just leave. We're going to leave one of these units here, the Dale and Woodsman, and we're going to send Lord Thorin away over here. Yeah, and we're getting the last unit next turn. Actually, get the Ironmongers instead, so we can get some more Dwarven Labors. And you can actually leave, go to Mount the Bad. Onward. Let's see how much garrison we got there. Two plus three, five. That's very good. Yeah, we can stack up a lot more units Aye, in sir. Mount Kinderbad. And relieve some Aye. stress of these places. My king. Yeah, we can also have the Iron Hills Mattox. Aye, Lord. Onward. Aye. And yeah, we'll get the stone foot in a turn. Wonderful. Now Litas is just laying there ready to us for us to take it. We're going to keep this guy close to Kandrum so that he can actually inspect. We might even try to send him inside the city. Agendar is sitting there though, but we'll definitely tear him apart with our towards. That's going to be a nice ride. Can these guys leave now? Yeah, let's try to send them to Mount Kimba. Alright, when I this army right here side. arrives, we'll we head out. But I'm going to make a little cut here, and I will see when something noticeable happens. Alright, I'm going to try this. 15,000 for Framsburg. This seems quite and they actually accepted it. That's wonderful. So we now got it, boys. And we even got some burning riders. Wow, that's really cool, actually. Now let's get the brewery right here. And these guys are going to move out in the next turn. And we're going to earn that money quite quickly. It won't take very long. But our culture is very bad right here. But these guys are definitely a nice addition. All of these burning riders are definitely not that bad either. And getting some cav now is very useful. I think we need to... Yeah, we definitely need to get... Gloin out in a... In not too long. We need him to stay in Framsburg, I think. Or we could, of course, just send Dane. We're going to lose a lot of money then. Alright, I will see you when we start attacking Angmar. We are finally here. It's been a couple of turns, probably 10 or more. But Gimli is on his way with an elite army. And Khandum will swiftly fall. And over here, we are going to use Dane and take out Litash. I'm tempted to leave like only these two units now and see if I can bring them down. It really depends on what they got, but it might be possible and doable. We also have stacked up a lot of units. We do have what we need. And I am also sending an army over here with under Lord Thorin's command. And we're going to start expanding into the rebel settlements here. And then quickly start taking rune as soon as possible. Alright, so let's just try to get our spy in. I'm just going to try to risk him getting in. Let's see what will happen to him. Loon. Wow, will this work? This is kind of funny. Oh. Rip. 
that didn't work out. Well, we'll have to siege them out then. It's war. Alright. And that's war. Now, Agendar himself, the Lieutenant of Mordor, is in here. And with him, he got some trash. Not essentially trash, but mostly trash. These guys rely very much on their armor, so we're going to be able to utilize that. Now, I don't. I think we might want to get another spy and start investigating this land. And I'm just going to start sieging these guys out as well. Let's see what they got. Yeah, Lord Skilled, he got the Dark Blades. So I actually think that these two cavalry units would be enough. Completely honest. And if they will not, we can just send more units. Alright, I'm going to send... Let's see, yeah, let's send King Dan over here. He can actually join this army. And I don't I don't know if they will actually yeah they will they will get the garrison here I think. Things can only get better. So let's send these guys over here. Actually it's very worthy having Dane inside here because we're making so much money. So just going to keep him there for the meantime. These guys are on their way. We're still just building stuff everywhere. And I have managed a lot of place so that we don't have to check it every second. Alright, let's end the turn and start the siege of Kandu. Now it would be nice to get borders with the dwarves of Eldluin and establish some real trade with them. And we still have to defeat Easterlings of Rune and Goblins of Moria. But I think we have already taken a large part of their lands. And they are selling out. This might be the case that we wanted. I do not know if we're going to be able to take them out. But I think these two cavalry units will be sufficient enough. So I will indeed see on the battlefield. This is Litash. Let's take a look at this. Wow, this is real nice. It looks very, very cool to be honest. And I think it's very easily defendable as well. Yeah, you just hold them around the gates. And these towers, man. Wow. And here we have the Dark Blades. We're going to take a look at their stats. We have barely seen them in our campaign. In the Remnants of Angmar campaign. Simply because they just don't appear very often. And we haven't used their general as much. Because other generals are way more efficient. So let's just take a quick look at them. 14 melee attack. 6 missile attack. 6 charge bonus. 14 total defense and 8 armor. That is very decent stats. But it's not up with the late game real elites to be honest. Now we're just going to give them hell. They're already firing at us. Or it might, yeah, it's the arrow towers. These guys might get a nice volley in at the first, at first volley. But from that point on, they will not get a lot of volleys in. And we have already killed Lord Skilled. That is wonderful. That is very lucky. Now... Indeed, both their units is going to be quite efficient against us. Not the Dark Blades, but the Conscripts are skilled against mounts. That's like their only stat which matters, because otherwise they're just completely trash. But that is going to hit us a little bit. So we just gotta keep charging these guys into oblivion, because they are of course trash, even though they are skilled against mounts. We just don't want to lose our general, because then it might be over. But killing Lord Skill on the initial charge was very lucky. We have killed more of them than they have of us. And it's already going very, very well. And let's charge these guys while they are just standing still. And there we go. A nice charge in the rear. Wonderful. The enemy are badly Yeah. And this is how we take out Litash without bringing an army and having to fight garrisons. And they're already routing. Wow. Just capture them, to be honest. And that was a powerful charge. I'm so glad we, we bought Framsburg. Uh, that really helped us out. We got a lot of burning riders. And we can even recruit them as mercenaries, actually. Inside, uh, outside Framsburg. That was another nice charge. 
Rangers like this, I, I do refer to them as rangers because that's essentially the kind of unit that they are. Alright, let's just try to stay away from those arrow towers. You see how deadly they can be. That was another nice charge. Ah, uh, look at that. These guys are going to... We're going to see... Oh, they actually routed. These guys are just going to pursue them. But we're going to get the town center now anyways. Not really going to risk anything. Yeah, they're headed back for the town center now though. They might actually be fast enough, so we might have to charge them. I think we do. Losing now would be very bitter. But there are just so few at this point. But we saw that the burning riders couldn't hold up to... They just got shredded by those arrows, to be honest. I think I should have not played in six times speed. Alright, we need to charge these guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken... They're just standing there. I'm just going to let them take those shots. They're going to lose the town center. We could probably have killed them anyways, but just to be safe. There we go. And that's Litash. And now I will probably send out King Dane with as many troops as I can gather and attack Angmar um, on the other settlement, which I just can't remember the name of at the moment. It's Litash and... No, I can't remember the name. That's weird. After all... The place I have been doing in the Angmar campaign, and I still can't remember the name. But that's another settlement. We're going to exterminate them just to get some. Well done, lads. We won. That was cool. Alright. It was a very efficient battle. Let's see. I think this is the guy that actually, yeah, this is the guy that captured Litash. I'm actually going to adopt him. We do need another general. And he can actually start leading this, or actually he gets free upkeep. And he will give us some money as well. And we got the spy here now. Let's just send him out. And here it is, Shadun, of course. Shadun is the next target. Kirith Cathol and Barsakol got their building built. Can't recruit anyone. In your needs. I sir. Something to investigate. Moving quietly. Alright, these came. guys are going straight to the fort. I, Lord. These guys as well. We can send these I guys came. over here as well. Move out. And I suppose one unit of these as well. Onward. There we have a very Unto nice. Today, I, Lord. Yeah, that's nice. And in the meantime, we march no further today. These guys will go as well. Oh, these guys are actually mad now. I wasn't aware. We're getting the ballistas, by the way. Oh, these guys are moving out. Let's see if we can find the first settlements here. I believe it's called Skarn. I don't quite remember where it is. I sire, my king. I sire, march. I lord, my king. I sire, I lord. I sire. Yeah, these guys can't move out just yet. Let's just use this unit to just scout out. Ah, oh, they got Drangu the legendary, and and they got another general and some war raiders. These guys are not to be joking with. But can't do. Oh, they have actually dispatched a unit outside the walls. Can we make them? And But we should probably attack this now. Oh, wow. They get a large garrison. That is deadly. Now, on one hand, we're going to get a very nice battle and see the settlement. On the other hand, we're going to... Ignore 1200 orcs if we don't fight on the field, and they probably have very good towers. 
Let's see what will happen. Yeah, they are going to sell out. That's much more profitable. Because I do want to start attacking lots of these places. And they're probably we're probably going to defend Kandum uh, anyways. So we're going to see a nice battle there. But yeah, I will see you on the battlefield for this one. We're going to crush Lord Agendar. Gimli himself is going to throw him down. I'll see you on the battlefield. Alright, the real threat here is coming in from this side. So I'm just going to... Let's see what they got here. Only trash. We're going to let the Burnings do the first hit here. They're going to trash these units utterly. And we're going to prepare for Agendar and his scum. Let's just bring them over there. Four cavalry, that's the perfect amount in my opinion. More than that is just going to make it very hard to navigate your cavalry. So this is the perfect amount. Let's head straight into the arches. And you guys are going to go straight for the Angmarine infantry. We're losing some men right there, but that's going to be fine. You're going to charge straight into the general, which is situated over here. And that is a nice charge indeed. Let's see if we... Yeah, and there the general goes. Set the car to hell. I love that voice. Let's get out and make another charge. The Angmarine of Ashes will probably rout at this point. But Kandum is already in our hands. I know a lot of you guys might be a bit mad that I didn't really attack Kandum at that point, but we're going to be able to expand much quicker because we can't really recruit a lot of units very quickly. And at this point we're going to be able to just bring down Angmar pretty quickly. And start heading for the goblins of Moria. And of course, if we just expand very quickly, I will of course, I will play as many episodes as I usually do. Then we might extend our victory conditions to defeating Mordor and Isengard and such as well. Which I think is not a bad idea. Oh, there we go. Completely surrounding the Iron Crown. We're using the Anvil. Durin's anvil to bring them down. The the Alright, let's see what these down. stiff beads archers can actually perform. I have never seen them do any damage before. Or I haven't seen them in battle, I mean. So this is going to be interesting. Now, there, there we go. Let's put two on both flanks. And let's charge these guys, in, guys into oblivion. Now, Agendar, where is he? He's in the back. The coward. We're going to use... Yeah, let's just bring down their archers. That's good enough. And Gimli is going to bring down Agendar. And, of course, Agendar have a lot of armor. So, we're just going to send all of our armor-piercing units against him. Now, the Angmarim archers are already going down. These arrows doesn't look to be too bad. And just imagine Gimli's... Yeah, we're going to use Gimli on... On Agendar, that would be so nice. Alright, charge the conscripts, even though they are... Skilled against mounts, they're still so crappy. I think we could definitely just charge these guys, to be honest. Now, Dwarven Laborers are armor piercing. These guys are not, but that doesn't matter. Stonefoot Spearman, go in here, you go in here, you in here. And you as well. And let's bring all the Iron Hills Mattox towards Agendar. Yeah, that's fine. Iron Hills, go there. And you guys head out again. And there we go, a nice charge. Beautiful work. And these guys are already headed at Agendar. Where's Gimli? Get over there as well. These guys are going to be very effective against Agendar because they're armor piercing. Let's see how this is going. And you guys just going to hit the conscripts. You bring down those. And you make sure nobody escapes. The battle is very much in our favor. Temple wards are already dropping at a rapid rate. Let's stop our arches from doing damage. And Gimli, you're going to send some... Yeah, you're going to go right over here. And just send your Javis into the backs. And we're going to see... How fast we can bring down Agendar with those. But these guys are definitely struggling. But they're like one for one. 
but we do want to reduce our losses as much as possible. Uh, this is not a really proper surroundment. You guys hit these, and you guys hit these. Alright, Gimli is almost here. I don't think we're losing very much, only 6% so far. We're probably going to end up uh, losing like 10% or something. Alright, he's now here. Let's see what he can do. All the Axe God of Erebor, they start with 110 at this point. Now how many will they lose from this point on? Let's just take a quick... Yeah, let's just watch this for a minute. They're just falling apart. 96 already. That's so amazing. Because they rely on almost only their armor. And that's why only these the Javis are so effective. Uh, yeah, I'll just hit the axis and you as well. All the cow just hit the axis. Yeah, and they are of course surrounded on all sides now. Gimli haven't even used half his ammo though. Come on, give them some more Wallace. There we go. I love the throwing the axe animation, it's just so wonderful. And if you do have trouble, uh, if you do have trouble or problems with the axe animation, because a lot of times you might crash because of it. There's a lot of people that haven't fixed it or have installed incorrectly. Just search it up, and it will be a guide on it. I don't have, I haven't made a guide, but there's plenty of guides which tells you how to deal with it. All right, now we're just going to send uh, Gimli in from the front. And let's just finish these guys off. Yeah, 11%. The Temple Wards are... They are holding their ground. And they yeah, they are killing these Matox. But at what cost they will fall themselves. Agnidar himself is going to fall. Now, uh, why these Hillmans haven't been dealt with properly, I don't know. This is pretty poor play by these Stonefoot Spearmen. Can't really see why they would struggle against the Hillmen. Yeah, I don't really see that, to be honest. Now, Gimli is going to tear this unit apart in mail as well, because there's still armor piercing at that point as well. Now, I give this Angmarim infantry a charge, and you guys just hit the Hillman. That should be the end of the Hillman. How is Agilar holding up? 47, still a healthy unit. Gimli is losing some men against them, but it's a close battle. Yeah, they're definitely a very overpowered unit. No, no deal about it. But they can't match the dwarves. Gimli himself, very overpowered. Of course, this faction isn't that hard to play. But I still decide to play them because I haven't played any dwarves and it's quite fun. Sometimes you just want to play factions, which is very easy as well, just because it's a lot of fun. But of course, I still have taken down Gundabad in f f like one episode, which is very excellent in my opinion. And it's only Agendar left. Can we find him? Yeah, he's right here. The Lieutenant of Mordor is going down. Let's just hit him with everything we got. I can't even see him at this point. There he is. He's trying to he's trying to run away. That bugger. There he goes. Ah, by the Iron Hills Matox. A worthy enemy indeed. 343 lost. That's very good. Airborne Infantry getting a lot of kills as well as the Burning Riders. And there we have Kandum. We'll see. It should, like a, a last stand army should spawn now. And that would be a very nice defense of Kandum. Definitely 
very enjoyable. So let's hope for such uh, as such happening. All right, execute. Chieftain of Angra is dead. And it's only two. Yeah, let's just, just sack it. That's fine. Gimli, Conqueror of Khandun. Let's see what we can recruit out of this place eventually. Oh, yeah, we only have the garrison quarters. Barracks. Yeah, it will not show us. Yeah, it can probably show us right here. Let's see. We can even build the mithril mines here. Wow, 55,000? That's so amazing. Oh, th oh, this is just showing what you can build everywhere. Or like, if you go to a proper settlement, you can build such buildings. I don't think we can get the mithril mines here. We can actually get Tel Chad in plate for the next. But we're going to go for a brewery now. We definitely need some culture. And we're going to merge Aye. a couple of units Aye, as well. Aye, Lord. Aye. But they held up pretty well, to be honest. Aye, noble son. Now, what do we do now? My king. These guys will head out in the next turn. Aye. Aye. Move out. Combining the armies, sire. Your will. Onward. Aye. King Join Dane might want to stay there just Aye. for the culture. My king. And Baragor. Baragor can actually stay in Litash and we can send King Dane further. That's excellent. And these guys are just I, all king. together. I, Let's I, bring them together Move right there. I, these guys can just stay here. You as well. I. I, my liege. We gotta see how many units we can leave behind. I think we need to leave behind a couple more units. Just to check how much we need to leave behind before they're happy. That actually works out. Let's just build a tower. And we are, we're just going to wait here and see if a last stack army spawns. Captain Sharibart. What a name. Alright, let's end the turn. This is of course going to be a pretty long episode as well, but I think we have already passed 40 minutes at this point. Probably more. I usually... I'm pretty bad at... at estimating the time I've played because I get so carried away. Ah, the Woodland Realm. What do you want? Let's uh, hope they ask for an alliance at this point. Yeah, they do. This isn't going oh to Jesus, to are you kidding me? Alright, we're just going to ask them for an alliance. I thought they honestly would accept it. But it's it's if we ask them just for an alliance, they're probably going to accept it. But they didn't want to give away trade rights, that's what I'm guessing. King Dane Iron, yeah, Axemith Guild, Khan Doom Lost. And you're headed out. Let's see if we can find a settlement. Kingdom of Dale is now finally at war. That will... Oh wow, our money! We have spent it all. That's rather surprising. Oh, it's probably... No. Yeah. We probably built something somewhere which is costing us a lot of money. But we're going to make that up really quickly. But these guys are already kind of mad. I think we need to... Leave Gimli there. I. Honor, my lord. I side. Combining the armies. I know. They're still mad with Baragor. I. I. There we go. Forward. I lord. My king. I side. Let's just head them all out. I. My king. I. I side. And now we have spent. Okay, let's check if we actually built something. That we can just cancel out. We probably did somewhere. We're building all of these mining complexes though, which is going to... Yeah, we're building three mining complexes. That's why we're losing money. Or not losing money, but barely making any money. But that's... Yeah, we're at least building this building. I, my liege. I, noble son. An honor, my lord. 
If we just leave Gimli behind, yeah, they still hold this region though. We should just have exterminated this place, then we would have had no problems. Yeah, a lot of culture unrest. Even some fear. My king. I, my liege. Separating our forces, noble son. I, son. I, I. That doesn't mean this army can't still fight. Django on its own. This is the chance we've got. And we are going to reinforce uh, Gimli. Dain will head out. Dain will head out for Shadun. Yeah, they have really done it this time. Alright, let's just end the turn and see if we can get rid of Shadun as well in this episode. Just end the episode with taking Shadun would be nice. And what I like about this really fast push strategy is that we're coming much closer to the barracks front pretty fast because we're just pushing so hard in the early game. And then there was like a waiting period of 20 turns before we attacked Angmar. Which just makes it a lot faster or the backs will just approach a lot faster. So that's very nice. Alright, let's... Um, with the ward we still have to take. I'm going to start stacking up units and we're going to head out with the ward. Let's just take that bride. These guys are on their way. Oh, they have actually stacked up quite the army now, but we can attack them outside. We just gotta estimate these guys, they actually don't have that much trash. But of course it's King Dane. But he can't actually attack there anyways. My king. Alright, so they got Morholt here and Feibler. We'll have to fight off these guys. We got the we got the new general here now. That's nice. He looked very angry. We got the ballista now, and we can recruit units here, which I will do. Alright, I will have to fight these guys off. One, two, three, four, and five with Dane. They got a lot though, and they got like three war units, and they got Search. I think I'm just going to wait for these guys. That's going to make it much easier for us. My king, I lord. And if they attack, we'll still take the battle. Let's do it that way. Come and get me, you and let's me attack me. Morholt. The Rudar Skulls in battle. Alright, I'm going to fight this battle of camera. Actually, they got some wit some barrow whites. I think we can just end with this battle. Even though a lot of you guys watched the Remnants of Angmar episode. It's going to be nice to see these guys against some armor piercing specialists because this is going to be a more difficult battle than usual alright I will see you on the battle map right we're here and we're going to take on the Rudar Huskals we're going to take a look at their stats 9 attack, 8 charge bonus, 13 total defense and 7 armor and they are effective against armor so they're a very good flanking unit however they're not skilled against mounts and the burning riders don't rely too much on their armor even though it's almost half it's not too bad if we get a charge from all these riders we're going to be able to deal some real damage to them right, let's first go with them and then hit them from this side and you are going to hit them from this side let's see they're probably going to hold up quite well to it except for this charge there we go wonderful and then you guys hit. Yeah, they're dropping very fast now. Just gotta make sure we watch over on this side as well. We probably want to set 
And there, more hold goes down. Let the crows have his miserable Wonderful. And let our swords have his men. Alright, let's see. These archers can just... Yeah, we definitely want to target the Barrowites as quickly as possible. They are a real threat, but they're very vulnerable to missiles. This we know. Men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Alright, let's not leave them the in area too long. Blooded. They have lost half their men. Alright, one more charge right here. And we're probably going to be able to route them in a minute. Let's see how the witches are performing now. They start with 82, but after a couple of wallets they should start to drop. They don't have almost any armor, they purely rely on their defense skill. But they're definitely going to be a threat because they're armor piercing. Let's just double check it. Yeah, they don't have almost any armor. But of course we don't really have a lot of missile attack on those guys anyways. That's probably why we're going to struggle a little bit. We're just going to keep our general in. Yeah, there they finally go. We don't even need to take out these guys because they will not replenish. And we're going to send the burning riders over to the front again. These guys are, are still haven't lost a lot of men. Their arch is not going to be the main threat here, I think. Now, you can probably stand like this. And why not just charge into some rough savages? Or actually, they shouldn't have too much armor. Yeah, they should definitely get shredded by cavalry charge. Oh, uh, they're going up against the airborne infantry. That's a perfect match for the witches. That's going to be pretty bad for us. But they have charged in, so we can't really do much about it. Now, these guys weren't really charging in properly, it looks like. Charge them into Hillmen, you into the savages. And you give these guys a charge. Yeah, you just see these guys going to struggle very hard. But we're going to try to completely surround these guys. At least to some point. And let's charge these guys again. It's very easy to route them. The general is actually over here, so we should just the send a cavalry unit for those. Because they will... Then a lot of their troops is just going to go down very quickly. They have very poor morale, Angmar. So it's very easy to route them. But we don't have a proper general either, so... And the witches is causing some fear. So we're probably going to have some trouble with them. Alright, you guys need to head out for the proper unit here. That's the hillman. But we can't really reach them because they're inside the pikes at this point. So it looks like we just gotta charge these guys, try to make them route. We have pretty good morale in our troops, so we should not have too many troubles with that. Right, these guys can just stretch out and cause some fear. It's really unfortunate that these guys went to I guess the Barrowites. Very unfortunate. But we don't really have an answer to the Barrowites at this point. Ah, there we go. The Pikes is going to be completely crushed when they are surrounded like that. That's very nice. Alright, let's try to charge the Witches. And you guys are getting a little bit too aggressive. Let's try to actually charge the Pikes and just m make them, cause them to rout. Actually, just hit the Witches now. Alright, these guys are probably coming for you. Yeah, you'll have to charge in. The Ruda Sarges is going to be effective against us. Now we don't want these guys to be left in melee. Wow, look at that charge. That's beautiful. Now we can use our general. I think he will, he will survive. Where is these? I can't really see where the general is at this point. But this Erebor infantry will hold up pretty well. And there the general goes, actually. He just flees. So we're able to make these guys route very quickly and there he goes now they should all route except for the witches i mean the barrowites i keep calling them the witches and that's simply because in third age three fourths it's an online multiplayer version of basically of third age total war and it's it's really fun and there they have this unit which throws fire and it's called the Witches. Or they at least they existed before. I don't know if they still exist. Not too certain. 
But this uh, showed us that we are not invincible. We lost 20%. Going to try to capture as many as we can. And the Barrowites are still fighting. They're no mere scum. But it would be nice to have them off the way. Probably not re spawn a lot of uh, more of those guys at this point. And a lot of our cavalry went down as well. Right, we gotta catch the pikemen. That's actually a nice unit. Look how our and there we go. The Barrowites is now the running as well. You always want to capture troops, you will get more money and you will prevent the enemy from returning. But units under 30 is actually no deal because they will not come back on the field. Lost 337. Burning riders taking... getting the most kills. Beautiful. So we're just going to end one more turn and see what the world brings us. We do have a sufficient garrison at Condom, but it's not too strong either. We might want to send a couple more units over there and just let Dane push and just hold Condom in the meantime. On the other hand, pushing out the west would be quite cool. Because then we can start finding our brethren. Glory to the king. Ah, there we go. That's what we wanted. Let's build a tower right here. And you will you will head out with a couple of units. I'm just going to leave. Yeah, these guys are there. Let's just see if we can move Thorin as well. Yeah, we can. Actually, Dale holds this area, which is rather unfortunate because then we don't border our own land anymore, and we're going to border Rune immediately. We might have to buy the settlement off of Dale. We can actually recruit a couple more units here. But yeah, we need to focus on getting some buildings up in... in Litash. We do need to get this brewery. My king. I know actually, we'll have to get the pub first. When the mining complexes finishes off, we're going to make so much money. And the Northern Duna is actually expanding. It looked like Angmar didn't have a lot of land, so I think we can just kill them off very quickly, to be honest. Just like we did with Gundabad, because they haven't properly set up. And then we can just go ham on the goblins of Moria. Oh yeah, this is going to happen. And it's probably a large army, or it might just be Triangle alone. But he will probably be able to deal with these guys. Yeah, this is way too, or too much power for this guy. Ah, that was nice. Ah, he is, they're actually going, they're just throwing their troops away now. Because I think Dane will be able to reinforce, or... No, he will not. Alright, that was not bad. And... That'll do him today. Ah, oh, that's that's too bad. We're going to lose a lot of guys in that battle. At least we have Dane. Now let's look. Oh, they actually emptied their whole settlement. All right, we're going to see our first defeat here. Actually, I have. I just checked how long I've been playing for, and we have passed way beyond what I was thinking about. So I have to end the episode here. And I'm going to go over to 45 minutes per episode for the next episodes. But the two first episodes is always important and it's nice to get some real length on them. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed our next expansion into the lands of Angmar. And thank you guys so much for watching this campaign. The feedback on the first video was outstanding and I'm very happy. So um, I'll see you guys for the next episode. And remember to like, subscribe and support me via Patreon if you like.